Right, game day. Spanish Cup, Copa del Rey final versus Real Madrid, the old enemy. Massive game for us. The quadruple double is still on. Let's go and have it, Valencia. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Football Manager is Ruining My Life with myself, O'Sullivan, here to take you through the ups and downs of our restoration of Valencia Football Club back to the top of the football pyramid where they belong, okay? Um, if you want to see how we got ourselves into our sixth season, we're in a Spanish Cup final. This is our last season because we have restored them pretty much. Then please check out the other playlists and like and subscribe to this channel. Anyway, today's episode is a big one. It's a one-off game. It is the Spanish Cup final, the Copa del Rey versus Real Madrid. Um, the old enemy, our biggest rivals throughout this whole campaign and career with Valencia so far. Been with us all the way through, challenging for league titles, Champions League, World Club Cup, whatever. They, they always, they are thereabouts. Barcelona, no. Real Madrid, yes. So today is the Spanish Cup final. Um, we'll show you that game all the way through. We'll just finish off this press conference and then we'll get on with the game itself. So the season as a whole is looking pretty good. We've got a nine-point lead um, over Real Madrid. So that's pretty much done. Three more wins, a couple more victories will take us through to another title. Uh, Champions League looking strong as well. We'll show you the competition shortly. Um, we beat Real Madrid, uh, Man City in the last round. We have PSG in the semi-final of that competition, which is something to look forward to. Real Madrid still in the Champions League as well. We won the Spanish Super Cup early on in the season. UEFA Super Cup has been won. It's a good year all round. The quadruple is on again. We won the quadruple last season. A double quadruple. That is legendary status. Okay, so that has never been done before. Obviously, quadruple has never been done before. So we'll hold a team meeting then before the Spanish Cup final. Good, they reacted well to that. Pump the fist, exactly the kind of reaction we were looking for. So we look encouraged at least, which is very, very good. Um, yeah, thumbs up all round, green dots all over the place. Zidane expects business as usual. That's normally us winning, mate. So careful what you wish for. Uh, Valencia fans hopeful. Okay, have a look at this then. So next episode, we're going to look into some transfers that we're looking into, some potential new signings, etc. So... We'll see how we get on with that one. Phil Foden is still injured. So, Barak Ince, who was an absolute ledge in the last games against Man City, will be starting this game in the final. Uh, here we go then. Spanish Cup then. So, I think we're going to go with the positive mentality. The final is at our stadium as well, which is... That's got to have a clear factor. I know it's in the press conference then. It doesn't, but it does. Um, yeah, we'll see. Have a few changes, few changes, few changes. Going with the 4 2 3 1, obviously, we go with positive mentality because we are the home team. So I think it's going to go at them a little bit, not be scared. Um, quick changes. Nizual formation. Isaac up front. Ince. I have to play. I want Lee Kang to start instead, even though he's not fully fit. But I'd rather play him for half of the game and then bring him off because he is much better than Geddes in a wide position. So Fatty on the left, Lee Kang on the right. Ince playing the attack in centre midfield roles. He's done really well at. Isaac through the middle, the main man up front. Sola, Musa in behind. Big decisions at left back. We'll go Kalimba for left back because Gaia is injured. Um, Savage at right back. We can bring Aaron's on at left back or right back at any point in the game. And then Demaral and Eric Garcia as our two centre halves. It's very exciting stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll get stuck in on him, shall we? Pump those fists. Do it for the fans. Here we go. Quick press conference. Right. Game day. Spanish Cup Copa del Rey final versus Real Madrid. The old enemy. Massive game for us. The quadruple double is still on. Let's go and have it, Valencia. Come on. Massive game. Big build up for that one. Big build up for that game. I am ready. I am pumped. Huge. Huge. We haven't lost, I don't think we've lost the final yet, which is pretty good. So early rounds of the game look quite tentative as always. 10 minutes on the clock. We've had our first shot on goal, which is good. Real Madrid don't look that interested. 
Neither do we by the looks of it. But we have our first key highlight of the game. So Garcia over the free kick into Ince. Of course, he's involved in the build-up. Fatty through a goal. Fatty scores. Valencia have the lead in the Copa del Rey final. Quick punch through the middle of the defence. They were asleep. Ince on the ball. Played it into Musa. Who's alive? Fatty is alive for the middle. Isaac was on there as well. It's a good finish into the near post. Doesn't mess around. Pops it in. And we have the lead. Okay, normally when we go in front, we're normally okay. And we do really well. So... Let's keep an eye on this, see how it develops over the next couple of minutes. Real Madrid look like they haven't shown up at all. It's another free kick here. Ince will be over this one, I imagine. That was Kalimba. <sighs> it's a good effort. It's a good save. And again, had a good whip on it. The free kick. Okay, so we're cricking up to that halfway point. Then the half time whistle is going to blow soon. We look quite good. Yeah, happy with that. So, 1-0 at half-time. We have been the much better side, which is excellent. Real Madrid, again, they don't look like they've shown up at all. We've only had the one real key chance, apart from the goal, which is the free kick from Kalimba. So, we need to capitalise. We keep everything the same. Positive formation. Lee Kang, keep him on there for a little bit, even though he's starting to flag a little bit as well. We'll make those changes, OK? So, we can put Isaac out wide. Maxi Gomez through the middle for a bit of hold-up play. Here come Madrid, though. Start the second half strong. Good double tackle by Musa. Lucky not to come away with the ball. Tense. Lee Kang. We need a good pass here. Isaac. Looking for that second goal. <sighs> Cleared up. Right. So reset. Let's get our foot on the ball. Get our foot on the ball. That is a horrible tackle. He's gone, isn't he? Surely. Surely. Yeah. See you later. Fabian on. Casemiro has been sent off again. He got sent off against us before. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Right, we are in complete control of this final. We have a 1-0 lead. We're at home, and they have 10 men. So, we're going to put Isaac out wide, bring Maxi Gomez through the middle, a bit more of a target man, leave another substitution for later on in the game, see what he can do. Only because Lee Kang was looking a bit tired, and we need the legs out wide. Isaac is an absolute gun. Sola, Isaac, can we get a second? Savic, ball over the top. Oh, is that the chance over? Kalimba on the ball, playing well at left back. Good ball in, great header! Yes! 2-0. Awesome stuff. From the right-hand side, Isaac with the header. Good ball in from Kalimba as well. So, touches here. Looks up. Who makes a move? Back stick. Isaac is alive. Gets in front of two men. Too athletic for them. It's a good header. And we have the lead. It's the second goal of the game for us. Okay, we're looking good. We are looking very, very good. Tight offside. Nah. Okay, so 20 minutes to go. We'll start to make some changes. Do I want to change the tactics a little bit? I might go, I might start time wasting. I might just try and see the game out. I think we're comfortable. Geddes on for Fatty there. And the, no, Rafai, sorry, not Geddes. The game looks over. Neta Caven can come on as well. Okay, so here come Real Madrid, though. Good block. Hopefully, this is the after tactic highlight. Good. Good, good, good. So, again, they've only had one shot on target. They now have 10 men. They're struggling. We are two goals ahead. It's going to take something pretty spectacular for Madrid to win this game or just a monstrous collapse from us. So, here we go. Kalimba now on the left-hand side, having a good game. Good pass inside. Musa driving forward. Footwork's good. Good patience on the edge of the box. Isaac looking for a hat-trick. Not the best striker in the world. Bit central, bit cautious with that one, mate. Could he put his foot for it? Here comes Balletti. Oh, my God. I thought the highlight was over. So, that's 2-1. What a goal that is, by the way. It's a big kick up field from Courtois. Missed header by Garcia. Bellotti, all he can do is hit it. That's a heck of a strike. Keeper could have done better, maybe. Pile driver. That is a good way to describe it. I agree. I agree. So. Hmm. Defensive. Probably should have done this earlier, like I said. Shoot on sight. More disciplined. Uh, we've got Maxi Gomez up front. So I'm just trying to think, do we float the crosses in? Do we mix the crosses up a little bit? I'm thinking float. No, not whip, because it's early. Hitting the, an early floated cross, you can maybe get a knockdown. One of the other guys get onto it. Isaac can attack the back post. We're already in shape anyway, like the formation does. Um, distribute to the centre half. No, I'm just going to get rid of it. Over the top. 
Could you go over the top and into the striker? No. So target man it is. Maxi Gomez is going to play as a target man. He's a, he's good at that. He's a big man. Defensive line dropped that a little bit. Attacking line of engagement, not too much. Don't prevent the goal kick. Don't press too much. Just sit in. We've got a goal lead. We have an extra man. No offside trap. Defensive mentality is set. Let's just try and see this game out there. Last eight minutes of the game. A third goal would be awesome. That's a corner for us. I'm guessing nothing's going to come of this. The Arthur tactic highlight gets me every time. Four minutes to go then. Retention. Retention. Can we retain the Spanish Cup? Looks like we're going to do it. Can we get over the line? Awesome job. Love it. Love winning trophies. We have won so many trophies in the last three years. It's a joke. That is massive. That is a massive statement for our season. Madrid trying to chase in the league. Can't handle us in the league. We now have done them in the cup final as well. That They are in the Champions League semi-final also. I can't remember who they're playing. I think they've got Chelsea. But anyway, ignore that. Confetti from the sky. White confetti. Valencia. Rule. Spanish football again. Awesome performance. Even when they had... 11 players on the pitch. We look like the better club by a mile. So, really happy with that result. Bit worried. Good goal by Belotti. Yeah, game, set, match. I know we're at home, but yeah, fine. Cool. So, good work. Maxi Gomez came on, did nothing. Isaac, awesome again from the right-hand side. Fatty with a good goal in the middle. Really happy with everyone's performance. Obviously, the red card made a difference, but we were on top way before that anyway. So, 15... 15, 16 shots on goal, 12 on target, XG 1.21 compared to their 0 2 3. And the only reason they scored is because Belotti hit an absolute banger from out of nowhere. Some savage man of the match, so fair play to him with the right back. He's had a very, very good season. If you can find him on your save, I'd recommend him as a young wonder kid. He might be a regen, I don't know, but he is awesome. So, uh, outstretched arms. Congratulations. I'm happy with your performance out there. Yes, I am. Good. Pleased. I'm not going to talk about individuals. Keep that consistent, even though it was a belter of a goal. Pile driver, as they called it. Spanish Cup. Valencia lift the Spanish Cup. Valencia have been awarded 510k for their win. Fine. Celebrate a famous treble. European Super Cup, Spanish Super Cup, and the Spanish Cup. It's not the best treble in the world, but the other two are coming, hopefully. The league is definitely going to happen. We're nine points clear with four or five games to go, so... There we go. Retain the Spanish Cup. Had some interesting winners of that since the last few seasons. So Real Madrid have obviously won it twice. We won it two years back to back. Sociedad with a win. Celta Vigo with a win. Back when Celta Vigo actually were good on this game. And then they started playing seven. They started playing five at the back with two holding midfielders and two normal wingers and one up front. And they wonder why they nearly got relegated. So league looks really good. We're still nine points clear. That looks like it's wrapped up. We've got the PSG semi-final. Uh, to look forward to in the next episode. So that'll be a double. Spanish Cup 1, Spanish Super Cup 1, European Super Cup 1, all the Cups 1, apart from the Champions League and the League. So look at that, all those green dots. We are just winning games left, right and centre at the moment. This team is now amazing. So we've got Mallorca, Granada, PSG, Cadets and PSG again will be in the next episode. And then we could actually wrap the League up in between that PSG game. So that is exciting to look forward to. So guys... Join me next time for the semi-final of the Champions League against PSG, who we've never played before on this save. So that'll be interesting. The double quadruple is still alive. The league is nearly in the bag. The Champions League is within touching distance. So please like, subscribe for more Football Managers Ruin My Life, more Valencia. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.